Greetings, Geeshlings, Geeshin Prime here with my live reaction of Mob Psycho 100, Chapter 100. It'll probably be a three part, uh, uh, dealie. And, uh, there is no t or was it in the last one? I forget. Uh, no, because that was an Omic, the last page. And Mob got hit by a car just like you, uh, Yusuke Yurameshi. Yusuke, or I mean, Mob. Yeah, he's on the ground. I don't think he's dead. Oh, he bleeding. He bleeding. He 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 fading away like freaking dust cloud. But okay, is he dead? Is he spiritual? Did he ascend? I don't know. Hmm. And the kid's shocked. I mean, I would be too. The driver, not as shocked as you would think. He just says, yikes. I just killed a kid, and, I, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm going to get on my phone. Ambulance, uh, let's see. The street address for this place is, uh, he's not moving. H Hello? Mm. Hey, are you? Okay. I doubt Mob is dead. Because now the ground's breaking. But I don't know if that's like... Oh, apparently that is the real world. So his dormant power or just like the subconscious power is what I meant to say. Uh, is just breaking the ground? Oh, God. Well, better... Fuck. <laughs> he, 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 you've heard of breaking or... Busting the block is going around the block to take a walk. Well, he 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 busted it up pretty good. Oh look, it's that cat again. I see it hasn't made it that far since the last chapter. Okay, things are starting to float now. See, I knew it. It's an important moment after all. I knew I would be needed. Okay, and Mob is in the unknown percentile right now. Does he have a personality that he's not aware of? Like the polar opposite of Mob or something? I, ow, I just hit my back of my foot on the chair. <laughs> the, the ground is just breaking underneath him. It's as if like those really heavy characters and then like just them barely walking and then they still make like a indention imprint on everything where they go okay he's just lifting stuff out of his way oh he, he got the bouquet now then let's go i'll make sure nothing gets in my way oh his desire it burns like fire <laughs> uh Okay, day 10 of, oh, okay, they made Inugawa one of them with his eyes. Everyone, we need to talk. <laughs> Inugawa, having reached a state of loneliness, synchronized his heart with the aliens and managed to convey to them his desire to return to his homeland. When there was something you truly want to communicate, even if you make eye, eye contact and say it plainly, your meaning will be understood. Inigawa realized that, but as soon as he arrived on Earth, most of his memories faded into obscurity. Okay. I guess that explains why he really didn't mention much in the last chapter or so when we saw him. Okay, the kid's crying, he's crouching on the ground, I would be two probably more than just one bodily function going off at once <laughs> the ground was you know rising up what the hell is this yeah dude you, you caused all of this so my car dude i'd i'd worry about yourself and that kid first okay mob is Okay, he is just straight lining towards Subami, apparently, because he went right through the garter rail. Or guard rail. Why did I say garter rail? Anyway. Oh, God, he's going to go into traffic. An explosion? Ugh, earthquake. What is this? A landslide? Nope, it's just a whatever-you-want-to-say mob. <laughs> Rock salt. 
a rock or salt block why did I say rock salt <laughs> salt block four of pepper street a cascade of incidents is occurring block two number 14 several people unable to move due to a land land substance issue or situation what and yeah that cop you you might want to just get out of there another instance of cops are useless is about to happen there are reports of a boy destroying fences residential facilities and telephone poles as he walks around 120 excuse me 160 centimeters tall wearing a middle school uniform carrying a bouquet like object no visible weapons he is the weapon <laughs> say i'd like to talk to you for a minute dude just get away the less people that are harmed the better okay now we're getting tv reports boy news is spreading fast as such uh, citizens in the area should evacuate immediately still the cause of these mysterious tremors and squalls is yet unknown and people are talking about it online spice city is a mess it's shaking too much or so much and like i think the sky is turning red have you have they finally arrived what end of the world i want to eat uh takoyaki uh, you know takoyaki i'm wondering if it is one's like favorite food because it does keep coming up in the series everyone give me money or somebody give me money someone actually favorited that uh, uh, something terrible is happening in spice city right now i'm worried about everyone and it's misspelled every yan maybe that's cat Oh, Nikoton. Okay, that's the reason why you're talking like a cat. <laughs> it looks like uh, there are all kinds of accidents and or uh, now I'm having a lapse of everything right now and collapses associated with the shaking. The cause is unknown. Nearly all of the main roads in Spicy are congested due to redirected traffic. Okay. Uh, Shirazawa, maybe maybe you need to go investigate. <laughs> Shirazawa, hold up, hold up the bookshelves so they don't collapse. The cups too. Uh, sure. And he, he's just using his telepathy. <laughs> or not telepathy, telekinesis. I can't even keep things straight anymore. This earthquake is no fun. It's so long. Why would an earthquake ever be fun? Uh, they've just put out an evacuation advisory. What a shame when Shijio kun was planning to confess to the girl he likes today. Well, what can you do? Uh, well, you can go try and find him, you know? I mean, make sure he's safe, and then you find out the real root of everything. Mob might be heading for his meeting place, even in the midst of all this. It's Mob, so he'll probably be fine, but maybe I'll drop him a line just in case. He's not going to answer the phone. Oh, that, is that Mob's cup and it's breaking? Because Reagan noticed it. Oh, God. Well, there goes the forest. Plant-loving mob is now deforestation. Uh, between 155 and 160 in height, wearing a middle school uniform, carrying a bouquet, destroying buildings and the like, all the while walking straight ahead. Okay, he, he's just reporting it in, and there's he's like, I can't deal with this, guys. I don't know if the army could deal with this thing. This is no earthquake. A supernatural phenomena? Something along those lines? That has to be what's going on. Uh, no, I'm not trying to pull your leg. I, he won't respond to questioning. I wasn't able to stop him. I can't explain it with words. Something about him seems inhuman. He was walking into the forest surrounding a private residence. I suspect he'll continue heading straight north. If he exits the other side of the forest, that would take him as far as the shopping district and heading or housing complexes across the station. Ignoring this would be a dang or would be dangerous. No, like I said, I can't really explain it. You're explaining it fairly well for the most part. I mean, for considering, no one seems to ever realize that psychic powers is a thing. And he can, oh, Tiru noticed him, and he's going to try and stop him. 
he threw his bag and it got obliterated. Kagiyama kun? Omek, at long last, revealing their full name series. Oh, look, it's uh, Hikaru uh, Tokugawa. All right. I don't even remember him not having a first name. <laughs> yeah, the vice president of the telepathy club. Or no, the student council, sorry. Bah. Too many damn characters with freaking uniforms on. <clears throat> Yeah, good thing I rushed over. Somehow I thought you might be here. You're destroying everything you touch. I don't know what happened, but if you want to talk, I'm here. For, oh, okay, well, uh, yeah, just blow up your friend. Yeah, that, that, that's how that works. <laughs> Let's just calm down. <laughs> okay, he did get a barrier up in time. Good. What do you think? I've got, I've gotten pretty strong too, haven't I? Watching you copy... Kagiyama-kun, I was inspired to keep doing my best. Ah, I see you bought a bouquet. Not bad. Are you about to go confess? But I wonder if it might be a bit dangerous to go in that state. Dude, you might want to just get out of the way. I, it's nice that you complimented him and everything, but I, I don't know if you could stop him right now. <laughs> yep, he's just pushing your... Oh, knockout. No, didn't knock him out, surprisingly. Hit a tree, though. Oh, now we've gone through the tree. Nosebleed. Psychics in them nosebleeds. Oh. Oh, I thought he was knocked out then. He's going to have to fight back, isn't he? My words aren't reaching him. I have no choice. I'll protect you. What? What is up with the scarf? Sorry, but... Until your power subsides... These bonds will. He's just going to shred those. Oh, he's shredding you first. Oh, and there goes the scarf. Okay. Revealing their full name series. Inogawa Monmenta. Hmm. Okay. This is bad. Maximum barrier. Oh, wait. I'm already in the fourth segment now. I'll stop it here. <laughs> yeah, three segments per uh, video for this because it's long enough as it is. Um, but yeah, we'll pick it up in the next one. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Keishan Prime, and I'll see you next time. Keishlings, roll out.